Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first intermediate grade. Our textbook is Super Goal 1 and today we will cover Unit 3 which is what is that? Today inshallah we will cover listen and discuss and pair work. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazina Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Salih al -Ajan. So let's begin. Our objectives in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to list a museum content and also follow the museum instructions. So in the beginning, I would like you please to open your books on page 18. I would like you please to open your books on page 18. And when you open your books, I would like you to have a look at the objects that you can see in front of you. I would like you to have a look at the objects you can see uh, in front of you on page 18. And help me to answer this question. Are these objects old or new? When you have a look at these objects, just tell me. Are they new or they are very old that you, you, um, you rarely see them in, uh, in your daily life? So, of course, these objects are very old very old objects and can you uh, think or imagine where are they where usually people put the old objects or the old things that are no longer used very good they are usually put in a museum so a museum usually uh, used for a place to uh, keep uh, the uh, old objects maybe uh, uh, something that uh, has a, a memory or has a story, they uh, mostly kept in a museum. So, in each museum, when you, we go to a different museum, there's usually someone called a tour guide. And this tour guide usually give us a tour inside the museum. For example, when you walk into a museum for the first time, you will see this man, a tour guide, just to help you uh, know uh, a bit about the museum, um, what are the objects uh, 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 means, and also the stories behind each uh, object. And also he can show you around uh, the place just to have uh, uh, more ideas about the museum. So the first person you will meet when you go to a museum is a tour guide who will show you around the museum. So, let's begin and listen uh, to uh, the tour guide instructions and then also uh, we will know or we will get introduced to different objects as you can see on your uh, book on page 18. So, now we are on a museum tour. Now we are on a museum tour. We're going to walk around a museum. And in the beginning, we stopped at the tour guide. Let's listen what the tour guide has to say. Welcome to the museum. My name is Tom. I am your guide. Follow me. Please don't touch anything and no photographs. So, these are the instructions that were given by the tour guide. He gave us he first greet us, he welcomed us, and then he gave us uh, uh, some instructions. For example, follow me, this is the first instruction, and also don't touch anything. This is another instruction. So when we go around the museum, we should not touch anything. And also he asked us to not to take any photos, no photographs. So this is what the tour guide do. He will take you around the museum and uh, in the beginning he will uh, clarify the instructions or give you the instructions just for you to follow while you are on your tour. So let's have a look on your books on page 18 and let's read the objects that we can see in front of us. So we have different objects. One of them is airplane, very old airplane and camera, car, bicycle, telephone, and typewriter. So, as you can see, 
we have different objects. They, uh, they do not look as uh, uh, the uh, objects that we know uh, in, uh, in the meantime. So, for example, we have a very old airplane and also a camera, a very old one and also a car which is uh, not uh, used any longer and also a bicycle a very old bicycle and a telephone which is uh, now is replaced by smartphones and stuff and also a typewriter uh, uh, back in the time they used to have a typewriter to write or to type some words and now it is replaced by uh, the laptops or the new computers so these are the first set of objects that we can see uh, in our uh, books. So uh, let's continue and read the other objects. And now we're going to move to the other objects, like, for example, as we can see, headphones, washing machine, calculators, television, and radio. So all of these objects we can uh, use them right now and the present time but these specific objects are very old and they are not used uh, any longer this is why they are kept in a museum just for people to go to these uh, to the museum and visit them and have a good time remembering how people used to use these uh, objects so as we said, we have different objects, very old one, like uh, airplane, the camera, car, bicycle, telephone and typewriter, and also headphones, washing machine, calculators, television and radio. All of them, uh, people used to use them uh, before in the past, but uh, not, uh, uh, not uh, now. So this is why they are old and this is why they are kept in a museum. Now, I would like you please to turn to page 19. I would like you please to turn to page 19. On page 19, you can see a sign similar to this. That says, buy a souvenir at the museum gift shop. So usually when you go to a place, any place uh, that uh, may be the aqua park or aquarium, or maybe a mall or any place that people uh, usually uh, visit uh, just uh, for uh, entertaining. Usually there will be a gift shop and that gift shop has uh, products that will help you to remember this place. We call these products as souvenirs. So what do you mean by souvenir? Souvenir is something that you buy or keep just to help you remember a holiday or special event or in our case here to help you remember a special uh, place. So when you go to museum or any place that uh, uh, that you like, so they're usually a gift shop. So in this gift shop you buy a souvenir, anything that will help you to uh, remember this place. And here I'm going to show you some examples about the souvenirs that we can find when we go to a museum. So examples of the souvenirs we can buy from a museum gift shop, posters. So when you go to a museum, you can buy uh, posters, maybe that shows uh, the, uh, the play, a drawing of the place or of the museum with its name on it, or maybe a reproduction of any old paintings just to help you remember uh, this place that you have visited this place. Not only this, but also sculptures, which is a very small object with different shapes that help you to uh, remember the museum or uh, to keep a, a good memory. Also, a lamp. So since we visited a, a museum that presents old objects, so it's nice to buy old objects as well. Uh, from the gift shop and one example of these old objects uh, is the lamp a very old lamp that you can uh, use uh, to uh, as a memory uh, in your home and also a key chains which is uh, the most uh, popular uh, thing to buy from a souvenir from different uh, uh, gift shops 
this, uh, usually this key uh, chains has a picture or the name of the place you have uh, visited. Uh, if you like this place uh, uh, very much, then you can use this uh, key uh, chains in your daily life and while you're using your keys. Also, tote bags, which is a bag that will help you uh, uh, to uh, carry on your things or the things that you buy uh, from uh, this uh, gift shop and also that you'll see a logo or the the name of the place that uh, you have uh, visited and also some toys also toys people usually buy the uh, toys for the gift shop uh, because it will help them when they play from time to time to remember that place. So these are only few examples of the souvenirs we can buy from a museum gift shop. So we have mentioned you can buy posters, a lamp, a sculptures, keychains, and tote bags and toys. You can also buy, there are other examples like a very small notebook that has the name of the museum, maybe a pin maybe also a, a bag of it for the, your laptop or uh, accessories for your smartphone about uh, the place you have visited. So we have many, uh, uh, the many examples of the souvenirs that we can buy. So now let's move on to the uh, quick check questions. And the first question I would like to ask you is, what things in the pictures that do you have? So we have seen uh, in the previous page, page 18, different objects uh, that uh, usually uh, presented and uh, are shown in the museum. So my question to you is, what things in these pictures do you have? Of course, not uh, the old one, but as uh, 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 that are updated uh, in the meantime. So for me, for example, from the things that uh, we have uh, read in the uh, previous page, I have a camera, and I have a washing machine, and I have a calculators. So what about you? Have, uh, again, have a look at the objects you can see in uh, page 18, and write down what are the things that you have right now that are similar to the things that you can read on page 18. So, this is the first part of uh, our uh, question. Let's move on to the second one. The second one here, we have comprehension questions. So, here we're going to answer yes or no about what Tom says. And you remember who Tom is. He is the tour guide that welcomed us uh, in the beginning of our museum tour. So, here we have different uh, instructions. So, let's read. Uh, which one of them that Tom uh, did say and which uh, one of them that Tom did not say. So, the first one, welcome to school. The first one is, welcome to school. Did Tom say this? Did Tom say, welcome to school? Very good. The answer is no. He didn't say, welcome to school. So let's move on to the second one. Number two, follow me. Follow me. Did Tom says, follow me? What do you think? Very good. Yes, he says this. He says, follow me. Number three, don't take photographs. Don't take photographs. It means that uh, taking a photo is not allowed. Did he, uh, did he say this? Very good, yes. He said this when he said no photographs uh, at the end. And finally, look at those paintings. Look at those paintings. So, did Tom say this? Look at those paintings? Excellent. Of course, the answer is no, he didn't. He didn't say, look at those paintings. So, yes, Tom uh, will come uh, us, but and yes, he gave us some instructions. From this exercise, only two of them were uh, correct, which is he did say, follow me. He did say no photographs, but he didn't say, welcome to school. And he didn't say, 
look at those uh, paintings. So now, uh, here is a very important information that I would like you uh, to keep in mind, which is about the indefinite articles A and N. So usually, when we use the indefinite articles A and N, we usually use them before nouns. But here is uh, uh, the thing, which is, we use A before words that begin with a consonant sound. Like, for example, a radio, a calculator, a painting. And we use an before words that begin with a vowel sound, like an airplane, an English class. And you may wonder, what is the vowel sounds? The vowel sounds that the words that begin with these uh, uh, letters, which is A, E, I, O, U. So, when we have or when we read any word that begins with each of these letters, we use the indefinite article AN. And when we uh, read a word that does not begin with these letters, then we can use the indefinite article A. So again, as an example, we can say a radio that did not begin with a vowel, as you can see here, a calculator, a painting, okay? And with these words that begins with the vowels, we must use an before. Like, for example, an airplane or an English class. So this is, these are examples on when to use the indefinite articles. Now, the last part of our lesson today, we're going to talk about the pair work. And, for example, these pair work will help you just to, uh, ca how to form question when you visit any museum uh, next time. So, here, as you can see, when you have or when you see object that you don't know what this object is and you want to get to know this object, you can ask a question like, what is that? You can point and ask a question like, what is that? And if you're not sure, then you have uh, to, a way to answer. Either you give a guess, uh, like for example, I think it's a bicycle, for example, I think it's a calculator, so you be, if you're not sure, you can begin your answer with I think. And if you don't know, you can simply use or say I don't know. So this is for the objects that uh, you can see and you want to know about them when you go on a tour or when you visit a museum. And if you have more than one thing, for example, when you see different objects, not only one, but when you see different objects, you can ask a question like this. What are these? What are these? And of course, the answer must begin, since we're talking about a, a different objects or more than one object, you can begin your question, uh, your answer by they are keychains, they are tote bags, uh, they are uh, posters. So these are the questions that uh, people usually will use about the items when they go to any museum. Now, before we finish, uh, I would like to remind you of uh, uh, an exercise on your workbook. So on page 195, please uh, make sure to practice with vocabulary for common objects. Not only this, but also practice the indefinite articles A and and so now we have reached the end of our lesson thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time